hey guys welcome back to sfdc panther and uh, in this tutorial we will learn how we can generate the visual file of apex class that we created in the earlier tutorial and uh, how we can test that apex soap using a uh, different salesforce org of the generated apex class that we will generate from the uh, step one so let's go ahead and uh, see how we can uh, do these two steps To test this scenario, we we will be needing two Salesforce org. Uh, one, uh, the Salesforce org that we developed is Apex class, uh, the Apex Soap Services in the earlier tutorial. So I have two browsers open. One is uh, Google Chrome. Uh, in Google Chrome, I have opened the new Salesforce org from which uh, we will test the Salesforce services, uh, Soap services. And uh, in the mm, Firefox, I have opened my old org where. Uh, we did created a book planner apex soap services and uh, in earlier tutorial uh, we generated the visual file and saved it and if, if you haven't generated and saved it so uh, click on generate visual file button and it will take to it will uh, take you to a new page where you can uh, control save this file uh, and the extension must be visual file so I've already saved it to end desktop so I don't need to save it I'll, uh, if you haven't saved it uh, you need to save it and the next step is how we can generate the apps class using that visual file that we did generated so this is our new org where we will generate to generate the visual file uh, you need to go to apps class uh, under the under the build click on apps class and here you will see a generate from WSDL so if you click on generate from WSDL it will ask you to choose your file to choose your WSDL file that you wanted to choose so and this is because of uh, an extension installed in my browser uh, let me disable it uh, so here choose your visual file so I have downloaded and saved that visual file here in my desktop so I am going to select this book planner then pass WSDL here it will ask the apps class name that you wanted to give it so I am I'm going to give it as a bl uh, book pl uh, planner web service and then generate apps code Here you can see that the following apps classes has been generated without any error. One is Book Planner Web Service, and the other one is Async Book Planner Web Service. So if you now, if I'm going to refresh and find Book Planner Web Service here, so you will see a complete uh, new class uh, that is has been generated by the visual file so now if you see the line of code the L line in this class uh, is very uh, like uh, is a large number of lines cover it has been 137 and if you see the original file it is only of 19 line so once you generate the apps class using the visual file it's generate some steps and scale uh, skeleton so <coughs> Now next step is uh, the, uh, to understand this class, uh, how this class is uh, going to work and how we can invoke that class uh, to create a book record in our uh, in our Salesforce org where we have developed the Apex Web Services. So if you see inside this Apex uh, Book Planner Web Service, there will you will get. Uh, let me edit it for you so that uh, it will be very easy to describe uh, it will be very easy uh, which is very handy to uh, handle all the cases so here inside that if you'll see if you'll you'll find a class name called as book planner the same class that we did created if so, uh, if you see the class name is book planner and here we are able to say see the class name as a book uh, book planner and we have different different point uh, variable names created as in point uh, input header that we can send uh, uh, the input header or are, are those that we discussed earlier that is uh, accept content type what is the soap action and uh, these are the certificate timeout x and session header 
the session header is the important thing that we need to send how why we are uh, making the call out why we are consuming the so web service uh, session header in session header this is a if you see the variable name it's uh, called as book planner apex um, book planner web service and then session header element so this is indicating that uh, we have a, another class called as session, uh, session header element under the book planner web service so if you go ahead and find this we will find a new inner class inside the same class that is indicating that they, ha they have four uh, variables two are for a private three are private we don't need to do anything with these uh, three variables uh, we only need to uh, work with the session id so let's go ahead and see how we can create a book class in that uh, org in our old org where we developed the web service from here uh, from the org we are consuming the web service so go ahead and open a developer console we will be doing all the access uh, we will be doing the exercise in the enormous window we are not going to create any class and all that if you want it you can go ahead and create a class and uh, put the code over there in the class so first of all what we need to do we need to create an object of book planner web service and then book planner so uh, whenever you wanted to create the object of inner class of any class we need to book planner So now we have created an object of book planner and the next thing is that we have to send the some input parameters. We have to send some content type to the third party to our new uh, other Salesforce object. So we are going to create a map, map of a string, a string and how you will get to know what kind of map you need to create. You need to create this one input header x. This is the type of variable is map a string of a string. So you need to create name it input header map. In this input header map we need to put first thing we need to put that is content type. It was as uh, text by XML. The other thing was accept it was also text by XML and the last thing that was soap action it was blank we don't need to do anything with this so uh, now uh, we need to assign our map with this so what we will do we didn't just call it as stub Not and assign this map to this. Now next thing is that we need the session ID. We need the session header element. So we will be creating the class of this. We will be creating the object of this class so that we can session ID. Okay, so now the question is from here we will get the session ID. Which session ID we need to send it? We, uh, do we need to send the session ID of this org from here we are consuming? Or do we need to send the session ID of the user that exists uh, in the org where we created the, the service? So the question, uh, the answer is that we need the session ID of the user that is in existing in the different org in another org where we developed the web service so let's go ahead and find the session id of this user so th this is the uh, way we are finding manually we are finding we are finding manual session id uh, but uh, in the real time scenario we have to do it uh, either using auth 2.0 or uh, using the password authentication. 
so copy and paste the session ID from here copy the session ID and paste over here now we need to assign this variable uh, this object to the disturb dot session header variable so now we are done with the uh, part of uh, creating the uh, input header parameters changing to the another work to the third party we are done with the session id of the user uh, from by which we are um, going to create the um, book record now what we need to do we need to set the parameters we need to send the parameters of apps class uh, uh, sorry we need to send the parameters for the book object so that we can uh, our Salesforce or can receive those parameters and create the book records with the uh, given parameters so in that in our existing org if you'll see sorry if I open the class book planner inside that class we have another class called as book plan so now if we find this book plan here you can see there is another class named as book plan inside book planners web service and it has four parameters for those parameters that we defined as web service if you go back to your class you will see that we have defined four parameters that are defined as with the web service keyword so we need to create an object of this class and then provide the value for these four variables so let's go ahead and create the object for this class as well For author, we will be needing the ID of the any of the user. So uh, for now, we will just take the ID of user. I will be taking the ID of my user. okay so uh, this is now we have created the object of book plan called as book now we need to find this inside the book plan service that is the variable okay so here you can see that inside the book planner there is a method name called as create book the create book same method that we created were in the R class which is asking for to send the parameter of book plan so now what we need to do we just need to and it is returning book plan as uh, if you go uh, if you go back and see we are it returning the book plan so this is why it is returning the book plan inside the book plan a web service book plan so now we need to call the create book method and pass the book plan parameter inside that so now we are done with all the steps uh, we are done with the 
Send, sending the parameters of the header parameters so we have provided the session id we have provided the input value for creating the book record now let's go ahead and execute and see if we are able to successfully create a book record or if we are getting an error then we will be resolving that okay so what why we are getting getting that we haven't added the remote site setting so we just what we need to do we need to go to setup remote site setting save it now if we execute it we must see the response which we have yes here we can see that the response is we are able to successfully get the response uh, I forgot to put the debug if we go back to our org Click on book object, sorry book tab. Lightning board solution. You can see that we are able to create a record named as Lightning board solution. The author, because uh, author is uh, my name, because we are uh, we provided the ID of my username and the price that we did put over there if you wanted to re-verify go back and see that we have provided two forty three dollars and eighty seven cents so if you see we are able to see that so this is the way we can generate the uh, apps class using the visual file uh, we can uh, call the uh, web service uh, we can call the third party web service uh, uh, using the anonymous code or we can put this particular piece of code inside any class and then we can uh, call the method of that particular class so for call uh, for writing the test cases for writing the test uh, test uh, for that web service for that web service class we don't need to do anything uh, extra uh, we just need to write the simple test class that we write for other metadata like apex triggers base classes vh of four spaces and all that so this is uh, this is it for uh, today so if you have any questions please uh, let me know and uh, do visit the channel to uh, learn more about the integrations lightning parts uh, and all other admin related steps uh, thank you for watching the video uh, thank you guys